Well, we're back in the stand once again because it's been raining for the past month. But that doesn't stop us from covering this week's dubs and more to come in this week's Rainbow Roundup. Well, they have done it again and again and again and again. Warrior Ball 23 took only dubs this past weekend over Pepperdine with a 3-1 win on Wednesday, followed by a sweep 3-0 on Friday. On Friday, Spiros Hawkus led UH with a match-high 15 kills, hitting 591 with two aces and two blocks, followed by the fellow Greek Demetrios Mucleus, who added seven kills and five blocks. As a unit, the Bows hit 405 with 11 team blocks and six aces. UH will next host the Outrigger Volleyball Invitational starting this Thursday, where they will take on Purdue at 7 p.m. in the Simplify Arena, followed by Penn State and UCLA to finish up the weekend. Three opportunities to come and watch, and you don't want to miss. What a week it was for Rainbow Wahine basketball dominating their last home weekend of the season, taking wins against CSUN 66-58 and UC Santa Barbara 68-58. Imani Perez played a key role against the Matadors with her first double-double of 10 points and 10 rebounds. Against the Gauchos, Lily Wahine Kapu stepped up big, adding a team high of 21 points. Senior night festivities kicked off right after Saturday's win, where Callan Spiller and McKenna Harris said their final mahalos and took their last shot in the Simplify Arena. The Bows will now make their way to Las Vegas as the number three seed entering the Big West Tournament. Tip-off will be this Wednesday at 6.38 p.m. Hawaii time against Cal State Fullerton. Talk about knowing how to get the job done, because the softball team sure knows how. The Rainbow Wahine hosted the Spring Fling Tournament this past week, where they beat St. Bonaventure 3-0, following with a 6-3 win against Santa Clara, smashing Pacific 7-0, and finishing off the week strong with the 8-0 win against Niagara University. Against Pacific, Brianna Lopez fired her third consecutive shutout and shut it down on defense to help hold off the Tigers. Five of those hits went for extra bases as Rachel Bueller Sabrin led the offense, going two for three with two RBI doubles. The Bows will take on the University of Utah today at 4 p.m. Hawaii time in the Rainbow Wahine Softball Stadium. Then they will be hosting the Outrigger Rainbow Wahine Classic starting on Thursday against Niagara University at 12 p.m. Hawaii time. Spring camp has officially come to an end for Rainbow Warrior football and they'll now focus their efforts on the fall. The Warriors focused on installing the run and shoot offense under head coach Timmy Chang while also getting newcomers familiar with their style on the gridiron. Season tickets for the 2023 go on sale later this spring as the 2023 schedule was unveiled earlier this week featuring seven home games at the Clarence C.C. Ching Complex. Be on the lookout for tickets and promotions for the upcoming season kicking off on the road against Vanderbilt on August 26th. It was a great weekend to be a beach bow because not only did the Rainbow Wahine prove to be the best in the West, they did it in undefeated fashion against Cal Poly and Long Beach State. Chandler Cowell and Sydney Miller were the pair to be over the weekend, not letting the Mustangs or the beach pass them to be the only undefeated UH pair. Next up, the Rainbow Wahine returned to Queens Beach, joining five other teams to compete in the Heineken Queens Cup. First serve is Friday at 9 a.m. Hawaii time against Texas. Following an exciting two weeks of championships and claiming an NCAA invite, UH Diving will be in action starting today with the NCAA Zone E Championships in Federal Way, Washington, with all five divers going for spots in the national championships in two weeks. Men's basketball split their final weekend of on-the-road play and the regular season, falling to UC Santa Barbara 81-61, but picked up a win at CSUN 81-55 to finish fifth in the Big West Conference. Javon McClanahan remained consistent throughout the weekend, scoring a total of 29 points, 10 assists, and 6 rebounds. Against the Matadors, Kamaka Hepa notched his fifth double-double of the season, finishing with 17 points and 10 rebounds. It's that time of year again where the Rainbow Warriors will join the Rainbow Wahine in their trip to Vegas for the Big West Conference Tournament. The Bows will take on Cal State Fullerton this Thursday with tip-off set for 2.30 p.m. Hawaii time at the Dollar Loan Center. Men's and beach volleyball just isn't enough. 
So this is just a reminder that women's volleyball will be back in action, taking on Minnesota for their spring game this Tuesday and Wednesday right here in the Simplify Arena. So make sure to grab your tickets and come support your bows. I'm Emily Cervantes and this is your Rainbow Roundup.